No, the glasses make you look hotter. Sweet. Sweet. That's what I'm going for. How do you make arguments to liberals that the abolition of the commodity form is a good idea? I run Oregon, New Jersey. For the most part, everyone agrees with Marx's Marxist analysis, but it's hard. Um, well, you need to, I mean, unless you abolish wage labor and unless you eventually, you know, move away from the market system and commodity production, because capitalism, all capitalism is, is commodity production in its highest form, right? It's the highest developed form of commodity production. So you have commodity production before capitalism, but as it, it develops, um, it, it develops into the capitalist system, which is a system where everything is commodified, you know, and where the sole goal of capitalists is selling as many commodities as they can um, to make as much money as they can. Uh, so because capitalism is, you know, commodity production, there's no way of finally destroying it and defeating it without eventually, you know, abolishing commodity production because commodities a commodity has two forms of value, right? Going back to Marx's Capital, uh, chapter one through three, a commodity has two forms of value. It's use value and an ex its exchange value. So its exchange value is obviously how much value it has compared to all the other commodities, which we measure as price, how much it can be sold for on the market. But its use value is how useful it is to people, you know, how useful it is to the buyer, um, which is something that's not quantifiable, obviously. It's qualitative. Um, and under capitalism, under the highly developed form of commodity production, they only care about exchange value. Production is organized uh, for the production um, sale and, and sale of commodities to create exchange value, even to the detriment of use value and, and often to the detriment of use value. Like if you look at the American healthcare system right now, um, it's the most perfect example you could think of. Uh, there have been like a a hundred rural hospitals within the past few years that have shut down because it's not profitable anymore to bring people healthcare in those regions, right? Even though the use value of healthcare, keeping people healthy, protecting the public health is extremely high. It's extremely useful to people. Um, if it doesn't make money, the, the corporations who manage production aren't going to bring them, uh, aren't going to bring um, healthcare to those areas that, that can't afford it and can't make them money. So the solution is to decommodify healthcare, right? Have healthcare that's publicly owned and based on the production of use values and the distribution of use values based on need rather than in the production and, and distribution of exchange values and exploitation, um, which means the abolition of the commodity form. So, sorry, that's a super long answer. It's not a uh, easy thing to explain, obviously. Because, I mean, and also like, China and the USSR and these countries, they didn't abolish the commodity form, right? You could say maybe like the early stages of the USSR kind of, or like uh, Mao's China, where they had tons of central economic planning and, you know, most of the industry was nationalized and controlled by the party and the state and the workers. Um, you know, but it, Lenin's new economic policy and, and Deng Xiaoping's reform and opening up um, recognize that, you know, we're not going to be able to abolish the commodity form right now. Um, we need to achieve common prosperity. We need to increase the productive forces, industrialize, combat imperialism, abolish poverty as China did. Um, so would commodity form be abolished entirely in a developed socialist society? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so similarly to capitalism, where the development of commodity production leads to um, capitalism and imperialism, the highest form of commodity production. Socialism is transitioning away from commodity production, you know, transitioning towards the production of use values uh, for their useful character, um, rather than the production of commodities with which have the twofold value, the exchange value and the, the use value, that contradiction within them. Um, so, you know, that's like what China's moving towards now. Right. They're moving towards the abolition of the commodity form. And these people who say, oh, China is not real socialism. They haven't abolished the commodity form yet. Um, it doesn't make any sense. You know, it's a process of development. Um, so you can be too ultra with uh, calling for the abolition of the commodity form, too.